good. Uh, I think we just gotta probably just clean up some eye control stuff and just really um, kind of just know everything that we're trying to do as a defense and really know more so what the offense is trying to do to us and kind of play our strengths and weaknesses uh, according to that and uh, really just kind of play more in unison. But I feel like overall we had a good performance. So you got a lot of grief for not doing the pick six? Say that one more time. You got a lot of grief for not doing Oh, yeah, the pick everybody six? was on me. Everybody was like, you got to finish in the end zone. I mean, I, I thought I was going to get there, but I mean, they, they made a good play, but you know, I was just excited to start the season off like that. You know, get our uh, offense great field position and getting in. Uh, one play drive, so you know, it was good. It was good to be there. The first game, you, you never really know exactly what they're going to do. How much of like the stuff that they ran was a little different than maybe you anticipated? Uh, no, nothing too much out of the ordinary. Um, probably just a couple like throwbacks, a couple like obviously you know like screens and stuff they try to do. But uh, for the most part, you know, I feel like our coaches prepared us really well, and kind of everything that we saw and prepared for. Uh, that's kind of what we got. So we were uh, well prepared for it. What, what was Donnie's message to you guys, like watching film after that game? Um. He really said we played a great game, kind of just like I said, cleaning up the eye control, um, kind of just, uh, yeah, really just the eye control. That's all, just looking to stop stop looking at the quarterback and man coverage, looking sure. hard at receivers, and that's how we make plays on the ball. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously pen penalties have to be cleaned up. Do you think it's an easy thing to clean up, or does it still require Oh, yeah, no, I mean, I, f I mean, I feel like a lot of those penalties could be easily avoided, you know. Um, I feel like a lot of it, you know, kind of, you know, first game out, first time with uh, fans and everything, you know, no excuses, obviously, but, you know, obviously that does play a factor into it. So, you know, I think the second game coming up, obviously, we got a lot to clean up, and coaches have been harping on us about that, so, you know, we can't make the same mistake twice. UNLV's got that mobile quarterback and good good run game. What, what kind of things are you seeing from them? Uh, well, I mean, when they put the... the um, Backup quarterback in number two, he came in and threw it. He has a can. I mean, he threw a ball from his 20 all the way to the other 20 and completed it. So uh, we know we know he has a big arm. We know the running back is very explosive. Uh, he's breaking all types of records there, you know, B. So, you know, we got to fit him up in the run game and we can't give up no explosives. So that's the plan. I mean, I know you got to worry about yourself first and foremost, but when you watch the rest of the Pac 12 and how poorly they did. Last week, does that kind of put in perspective how well or you know, bad you played last week? Um, not really, because I mean, at the end of the day, it's really all about us. We can't worry about what everybody else is doing. I mean, like I said, it's really all about us. We we play as great as we want to be, and we play as bad as you know we we allow ourselves to be. So you know, as long as we hold ourselves to our highest standard, then we go out there and execute. It's really all on us. Mason Williams got a lot of run and seemed to do pretty well. What did you think about what, how he did and what he brings to the table for you? Yeah, I mean, like, from, from last fall camp to really that first game, I mean, he's probably been the most improved DB I think everybody can see. I mean, just, just from where he started on the depth chart and working his way all the way up to, you know, the starting corner when we go into our nickel personnel, I mean, it's huge for him. I know how much he's worked for it and everything that he's done, especially, you know, coming in as a young guy, probably behind a lot of older guys. But, you know, we had a lot of injuries, and, you know, he's been making the most of it, making plays. So, you know, when he's out there, you know, we all trust him because he's capable. He's done it in practice a lot. Yeah, what, what's enabled that? Like, does he ask a lot of good questions, or did he? Yeah, just... he's a, he's really a smart football player, and he's a, and he's a lot faster, I think, than a lot of people think for. So his technique's really good. He's really fast. He, you know, he he's just a real smart football player. You know, so when he's out there, he'll know what he's at work. We know he's gonna do what he's supposed to do. I know that you set the thirty takeaways goal at one point. How did you feel like you guys got on the right track for that baby in the open? Right, I mean, I mean, that's a, it's a dream start. You know, four or four turnovers in the first half. Um, we didn't really get any in the second half. I was actually kind of. Um, bummed out, I guess, about that. But, you know, that's, that's the thing we all kind of always talk about, you know, get at least three takeaways a game, give it back to our offense, you know, let them let them take control of the game, wear the defense out. So, you know, our job is really just to get three and now just get the ball back and, you know, let our offense do all the work.